we are going to create a firestorm. Look, if it's up to me, there's going to be a firestorm. These leftists, these uh, Marxists that, that, that have prevailed upon the American people and used the awesome power of the federal government to cow us into, into fear in our homes, they've got to be put on notice. They've got to be quaking in fear. They've got to be worried. They've got to be losing weight because they're not eating, because they're worried that they're going to end up going to jail for using the awesome power of the federal government. Representative Scott Perry is yelling about his political opponents and how they should be quaking in fear, losing weight even over the fear of being arrested and jailed. I'm not sure if he's really being very clear about what he wants his political opponents to be arrested and jailed for. Sounds a lot like fascism. What is it that's got him so pissed off that he's preaching fascism? Here's his explanation of what's got him so mad. Yeah. That you can't buy a gas stove, but that you must buy an electric vehicle. That you can't go to work, but you must put some experimental potion in your arm and then keep showing up to do that to visit your church or worship. Our personal sovereignty is what this nation was built on, and it's the foundation. It is under assault by every single facet of the government. It's under assault by every single facet of the government. If you guys didn't catch it, his grievances are the gas. Powered stove lie and, and, uh, and conspiracy theory that Republicans were pushing around just a couple weeks ago. And also those pesky COVID vaccines. And uh, I mean, I'm not gonna bank on it, but I wonder how many of his friends and buddies have gotten that same vaccine that he's ranting about that apparently these leftists need to be arrested over. Again, he wants to arrest his political opponents. Does that sound like America to you? Does that sound like fascism to you? But he's not done. How about a bragging about his abuse of power, his potential abuse of power? Because this is how apparently govern uh, Republican leadership leads these days. Let me scream about how I'm gonna abuse the positions that I've been given, watch. And if they're not interested in showing up in Mr. Jordan's hearing, you know what? I'm in charge now in the Transportation Committee of Federal Leases. Huh. Huh, that, isn't that something? I wonder whose leases might become. Well, we're taking a look at the list. It's going to be awesome when they go from a big building to about, oh, I don't know, that space on the square there, uh, Todd. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it. it? I love it. Like, we got to fight on every corner, ladies and gentlemen. They got to fight on every corner. He's talking about limiting or maybe biased in his decisions as far as leases for land for government and federal uh, offices and employees. How would he do that? Let's look at his position. He's the chairman of the Economic Development, the Public Buildings and Emergency Management. That is under the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee that he's been assigned to. There he is, in case you need proof. He's the chairman of that. Therefore, that's why he's bragging about his power to do these things, to come after his political opponents. What would he be doing? What, limiting whether or not they can have buildings? He said he's gonna minimize everything that they can do. Who's the they specifically that he's targeting? By the way, this subcommittee has jurisdiction, just details of what they can do over public buildings, federal real estate programs, and the public building services of the General Services Administration which is the civilian landlord of the federal government. This includes this part, the authorization and oversight of planning, site and design, construction, acquisition and renovation of public buildings, courthouses and border facilities, and the leasing of space for federal employees. So he's bragging about how he can use his power as the chairman of this committee, subcommittee, to make sure that people that are his political opponents don't have the same kinds of facilities, renovations, acquisitions, and positions in these buildings and companies and, and places that maybe people that he does like could have. Does that sound like America to you or does that sound like a fascist to you, Ravana? I mean, I, the least he's saying the quiet part out loud because it's not like these you know members of Congress don't use their positions of power to make ideological decisions as the basis for their actions. I do want to go back though to what he was saying about the vaccine and needing to mm -hmm. get a potion in your arm to go to church. When was the last time you needed to show your vax card to go anywhere? I haven't had to pull that thing out in well over a year. <laughs> Nobody has asked to see it for a lot. Like that's just so tired. It's played out. You get new material, okay? Because like you I mean you can fear monger about these things, but at a certain point people are going to be like, "Yeah, that's not happening though." So like it's it's not invoking anything in us. It's just silly to me. It's like this Absolutely. resurgence in this idea that like lockdowns are ruining your life. Who's locked down, right? <laughs> like <laughs>
It's, it's over. The, the the you know virus isn't over, but they've stopped <laughs> these public health 100%. measures. Even in these lib states like California, which by the way, as you saw his insert there when he's talking about viruses and COVID vaccines, he mentioned they won't let you go to church because that's back to the trigger words. Make sure you point out to your stupid followers that yo, they're keeping you from going to church. They're against religious freedom. They hate Christianity. In fact, they hate God. They're coming for you. They're <laughs> blood dripping from their teeth, satanic worshipers. All that comes with that short line because they've conditioned them for that. But by the way, Rayvon, there's something else that he just might be talking about here. Reasons why he wants to jail his political prisoners and he wants them to worry. His own potential criminality when it comes to uh, uh, his uh, the things that he's kept on his cell phone. Let's watch this, remember this from uh, uh, last year? As you will see, Representative Perry contacted the White House in the weeks after January 6th to seek a presidential pardon. Multiple other Republican congressmen also sought presidential pardons for their roles in attempting to overturn the 2020 election. That was from the January 6th committee hearings back in June, talking about how Scott Perry, that same Scott Perry that was to arrest political opponents, about how he was asking for a pardon after his part of January 6th communications. Let's go to some of those details, because this is what he's trying to avoid. Perry was a major actor in the then President Trump's attempt to overturn that election, connecting Trump with Jeffrey Clark, an official in the Department of Justice who supported Trump's efforts. We're gonna get to a few more details about Jeffrey Clark in case you guys forgot who that guy is. Cheney on Thursday back when this happened, when that video was happening, talked about how close the former president came to appointing Clark as acting attorney general. And that the former president wanted Clark to send a letter to Georgia and five other states saying that the US Department of Justice had quote identified significant concerns that may have impacted the outcome of the election. In other words, sowing more doubt into folks belief that the election was actually real. And Cheney pointed out that that letter is a lie. Now back to Perry, he's now the chair of the pro-Trump House Freedom Caucus. Again, back in June of last year, repeatedly pushing Trump's chief of staff at the time, Mark Meadows, to implement the plan to sow doubt in the election results. Perry has not been complying with the subpoena for that for his testimony. And as political reported again back last year, that the select committee was told that, that Mark Meadows, who Perry was talking to, burned papers after meeting with Perry in his office at the White House. Burned it. Have you heard Donald Trump talking about Mark Meadows burning papers after he met with other folks that were surrounding and they were talking about plans of overturning this election? I've heard him talking about acid washing cell phone records and things like that. I haven't heard him talking about burning papers. But you know what? The problem that Perry's having is that as of what, late last week, a judge rejected his efforts to keep his cell phone communications with these folks who were openly looking to overturn the election secret. He doesn't want them to know what he's been saying to them. So maybe it's him, Ray, that has been sitting in the corner of his room, not eating his Cheerios in the morning and has been starving himself, worried about how they're coming for his potentially criminal ass. Listen, JR, I think you're just making a little bit of a leap here. You know, he only asked for a presidential pardon and <laughs> documents were only burned after a meeting. I mean, all of that only suggests that these people are so, so innocent. I mean, that really is like, it is exactly what you're saying. It's projection, right? His idea in his mind is I have to jail my political opponents before they jail me for the actual <laughs> illegal things that I have done in my position. I mean, <sighs> You know, at least CPAC is starting off at the bank. <laughs> I was just thinking that when this whole thing, I mean, I said CPAC, I thought was starting tomorrow. And instead we got these types of things happening today. Now, the last question I guess is whether or not he's, you know, if anyone actually brings this to his attention, how hypocritical this is and anti-American, he'll go, but I was joking. I was on stage <laughs> rallying up a bunch of people in the crowd. It always goes back to joking or not really meant that or what do you think? Because again, he's the head of this committee that he wants to do all this stuff on. And I'm not sure his power levels of actually being able to carry these things out. He just wants to tell a bunch of folks, yo, I hate this country. <laughs> That's what he's saying.